I'm here in Clarendon Hills at Village Hall. We're going to talk with Ed Cage, our Community Development Director. We'll discuss the TIF, properties that are available, and opportunities in the Village. Let's go talk with Ed Cage. Ed, thanks for sitting down with me. You're very welcome. So we're, we're coming up on almost your one year anniversary. Um, in just a couple of words, how are we doing as a town? Uh, what were your initial thoughts now? Uh, the reason I picked uh, Clarendon Hills uh, to work for, it's a great community. Obviously, you've got the downtown, you've got the train station. You've got a lot of neat things going on. Um, and what the village is trying to do is kind of expand on those you know, interesting, cool planning things, uh, development things that we do. So we've got a number of projects from Sparrow Coffee, working with a couple of restaurants uh, to some potentially multi-family projects. So. so Ed, what what opportunities are available for a developer or a business to come into town? Um, so we have a couple of vacancies in the downtown area, uh, kind of like the, the prominent ones are to South Prospect, by South Prospect across the street. Obviously we have interest in, the, in those uh, existing buildings. Um, anything in the downtown that isn't what I would call the highest and best use yeah. um, is always available to look at. When I say available to look at, it um, obviously we have our existing tenants, but available for like TIF funding um, for the existing. Uh, and if we have a vacancy to bring someone new in, improve that building, whether it's you know a restaurant type use would be great, uh, retail that kind of thing. So. TIF Fund, which covers the downtown area, is a, a great tool uh, for economic development, and that's for um, keeping businesses in town and keeping successful businesses in town, and then attracting new business. And then, of course, that's the downtown and the downtown area. Other areas we're looking at to do is uh, work on is a TIF study for the 55th Street area. One area that I would say is open for great potential is along 55th Street and South. Mm -hmm. uh, the former Tracy's Tavern on west of the 55th, mm -hmm. uh, one and three quarter acres is probably our prime site at the moment. Uh, it was just demolished, so it's really ready to go. Okay. The the office complex at 55th and Home, that, that may be big vision down the road, but is that kind of on the radar? Or? Uh, absolutely. Um, so that's within the kind of new proposed TIF district that we're looking to create on 55th Street. So that's exactly why we're looking to create it to provide some uh, tools for developers to come in and make some, uh, make some needed improvements. What we're all excited about is uh, Sparrow Coffee coming to town. 100 Park, that's been so far a success and we're moving along with that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we've been talking to Sparrow for some time. They've developed some really exciting plans. I'm just working through the details of you know, how to make it work at that location. Obviously, it's a, an existing uh, building with some, you know, some nice character. Um, that they want to, um, they want to come to the community. They want to improve the building, and it's just kind of getting that balance between improving something but not over improving something. Yes. And uh, 421 Park Avenue, that potentially is a development, or there's someone that in interested in that? Yes, we have someone interested. Um, it's due to go to the ZBA, I believe, next week for a concept plan review uh, for six townhomes. Um, concept plan is really the, the starting stage for that proposed development. It was presented to the village board. They received it um, positively, but uh, as with everything in that area, there's, there's flooding concerns, so they have to, a big proponent of that plan is not only townhomes, but the stormwater management. The Walker Avenue, Walker and Park, that, that has had a lot of uh, attention lately with uh, that developer coming up with concept plans. Where, where are they at now? Kind of a mixed use concept plan, um, which was presented to the village board, commercial first floor, and then residential above. Uh, really um, exciting prospect. Obviously, a lot of parts to it. There's private property, and then also the village's own. But the former fire station, tell, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, the former fire community. station, uh, obviously Village Jones, um, is available. Um, we have had some interested parties in the past. Um, it's it within the downtown TIF, so there's some uh, TIF funding and opportunities there. I think it's a great opportunity for someone to kind of build up, um, fit into the, that kind of area. Uh, the only downside is a little small uh, location, so maybe um, interested parties. 
And if you're a developer, builder, investor that want to come into Clarendon Hills, what are some helpful links in our website that they might start the process? Yeah, I think the um, really the we have an interactive GIS tool, uh, mapping tool, um, which I use on a daily basis. I think is really helpful. Um, I would encourage people to go to the village website um, to look at locations. Um, if they want to have a conversation, I'm always available. Always there, and I always like to have like, new ideas and new concepts run by me. Um, and that kind of gets the creative juices. We're open for business. Um, we want development, but we want the right development. We want, uh, Clarendon Hills has some high standards, and that's a good thing. Uh, we have a lot of character, which is also a good thing. We want people to come in to, and respect those, but um, add something to, new to the community. Ed, thanks so much for talking with me today, and I really appreciate your time. You're very welcome. Thank you, Mike.